Hello everyone, welcome again to BSF Nairobi, Protein Master. We are trying to bring change to the farmers, to the people all over the world. Uh, by the grace of God, we've been able to reach so many people and uh, we've been of help to many people. And we are still trying to reach where we can. The next space you need to reach uh, out to somebody else. We always say, tell a friend to tell a friend that we may be able to reach all, as many people as we can. And uh, it's going to be well. BSF, as I always say, is a game changer. We are talking about protein. 40 to 45 percent protein. We are talking about protein. Many farmers are giving up in their dairy, in their, in their, in their dairy farming, in their poultry farming, in their fish farming because of, of the high cost of feed. And again, the amount of protein in that feed is very low. But again, as, as we always say in Protein Master, BSF is coming to bring this solution. Uh, I, was, I was amazed the other day when I saw in the news some guys were doing a porridge uh, using the BSF lab. And uh, I tell you guys, it's coming, it's coming away. It's nutritious, it's something good, not just for animals, but for humans also. Children with stunted growth, things are changing up, things are transforming, and we need to go there. The UN statistics show that by 2050 we shall be around 10 billion population and the biggest part will be in Africa. We need to take care of ourselves, we need to take care of everything else. Despite the COVID uh, uh, pandemic and the, and the seasonal times, we need to prepare, we need to work early, we need to do it very early. So by the time we're getting there, we are prepared. And we are setting the bar, we are setting the place, uh, the pace uh, as a project master. We want to bring so many farmers to understand and to learn about BSF. So, Today we want to do something different for you guys, but before then, I just want to appreciate guys that different companies have been working with us uh, in terms of uh, uh, doing some tests for them, because BSF again is feeding on waste. There are companies, so many companies that have lots of organic waste that are unable to discard it, but now we are bringing a solution to them using BSF, because once the, 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 the BSF larvae eat the com compost, uh, uh, the waste, they bring us a very good compost, which is the Vami compost, which is again one of the best composts. Again, you can use it back again on your land. You can sell it again, or you can do whatever you want to do with it, but it's again organic. So uh, I want to thank a few companies uh, that we, we've been able to work with. Also, you, if you have a company with organic waste, you can come, we can do a test for you guys at a small fee, and uh, we bring change. What, what we teach you, you'll teach others, and you'll employ a big number. Our desire is this that we shall bring a, a corporate, like the TIG uh, co corporate, the corporation that will be able to uh, have farmers in different locations and be able to get uh, uh, the larvae from different locations. And we do uh, the feeds, we do the pelleting, we do the oil. BSF has oil also. It's a game changer, let me tell you guys. So today again, from uh, many of you guys have been asking me and uh, Wondering, can uh, uh, the goat waste, the goat poop, can it work with BSF? We always say we want to try it together with you. We want to do it together. And uh, today I got some um, some uh, uh, goat poop. You can get a closer look. There's it. There's it. You can see it. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's not dry, it's damp. But I need to make it a little bit wet. So today, this is what we're going to use. And uh, so on my table here, I have the, I have, uh, the, the goat uh, poop. I've got rice bran. Another crate on this side, still with the goat poop. And it's still got our larvae, our five day old larvae. And uh, I want to try it and see how it will be. These are our five day old larvae. So that's what we have today. We want to try the, the goat poop with you guys. Uh, I know most of you, we've done cow dung, we've done fruits, we've done, uh, we've done uh, uh, market waste. We've done several, several tests and uh, they are proved to be well and they are, they are proved to be good. So today we want to try the goat. You guys who are doing uh, goat farming, this is your solution. And uh, some of you guys know some other, other guys who have overflush and overflow of the goat waste. 
and we are bringing a solution for that. So let let me wait this, and then we, we may know. So let me just turn this on my weighing scale on, and then we need to weigh these so that we have minus that. That's a one point four five. So let me just minus that. So my first rate of uh, the goat waste is I need to be five kg. That's five. That's a five. That's a five. That's a five. So I need to have a five. That's a five kg. And uh, the second one. Just a minute. The second one, I want it to be a four. So it needs to be a four. Let me get some more. That will make it to be a four. That's a four. So the other thing we need to weigh is the. So let me let, let me get this one. So the, the other thing we want to do, we want to weigh. Uh, the larvae so I, I just need to get 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 a, an empty one here and minus that and we need to check our larvae about 500 grams the other one 500 grams that's it so so we are good to go there so what I want to do what I want to do here I want, I want to make these a little bit wet. Something else I, wa I want to try, I have 250 grams of uh, yeast. This is yeast. I, I, I want to put some yeast on these, but it's not, it's, it's not a must that you guys do it. You need uh, to, it's not a must to do it. You can do it without the yeast. So for the yeast, I'll, I'll put one yeast and the other one I'll not have the yeast. So, and then we'll tell the difference. And uh, these, we have 400 grams of these. I think, let me, let me just wait for you guys. We see that. Uh, we need, uh, for the rice bran, I have to go to weigh this one. Sorry. I need to get these on. And then I minus this. And then I wait. It's a four ninety-five. It's a four hundred grams. That's four hundred grams of that. So one we will do with yeast, and uh, one we'll do with the yeast and the uh, goat poop. And the next one we will do a rice husk and the goat poop and we see the result. Why I want to use the rice husk and uh, the goat poop is just for aeration. But this other one I'll not I'll not use it. I'll not use the the, 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 the rice husk for aeration. I'll just make it wet. Both of them I'm, I'm going to make them wet and then we see. So if you can just look at the, at, at the texture, it's a little bit dry. So just allow me just to put some water and then I come back to you. So here what I'm doing, I want to add my yeast. But guys, don't worry, you don't have to do yeast. Why I want to do it, I just want to ferment it. It is said uh, uh, the more fermented it is, the better for BSF. But don't worry, the rest, I've never, I've never done yeast before, so don't worry. So some of you may be asking themselves and wondering, just because I don't have yeast, will I not be able to do it? You can do it. It's possible. So what I want to do, I want to add some water and just make it a little bit wet. So allow me just to do this and then I'll show you how it looks uh, uh, like at the end of. So we are done. We are done mixing uh, 
our 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 what do you call it? A uh, cow, not a cow. Today's goat. Today we're dealing with goat. I'm used to cow. Today's goat poop. So we're done uh, with the goat poop. You can look at it. Uh, it's uh, wet. We need we need it that way uh, for BSF. So we're going to mix our 500 grams of uh, five day old larvae. Just uh, spread it all over. Spread it all over. We want to see how they will do with the goat poop. So that's it. So these, the first one here, we, we, we just did the wheat, the wheat and uh, a little bit of yeast. Why I, I did the yeast, uh, I, I, want, I wanted to ferment, uh, it said the, uh, if the food is fermented, the better for BSF digestion. So I want to try that also. But please don't worry about the yeast part of it. You can do without. The, the other one I'm not doing the, with the yeast. I'm doing without the yeast. I'm doing with uh, the rice husk for just aeration. So this is my second one here. Uh, the second one here, it's very wet. The reason why I have made this wet is because I want to add the rice husk. And the rice husk is very dry. So this is a 400 grams rice husk. dust a little bit so so this is how it looks like this is how it looks like smells like the gold itself that's how it's smelling, like the gourd itself. So we wanna try it. So my 500 grams of uh, five day old larvae. Smells like the gourd, but let me tell the truth. When it's ready, it, be, it will be smelling like a dollar. You'll be smiling all the way to the bank when you've fed your goats, your chicken, and taking the rest of the market. It will no longer smell like a goat. That, that's, that's the beauty That's the beauty of BSF. Our slogan here, we always say, Product Master Turning Waste to Wealth. These ways that smells like a goat today, it will smell like a dollar the next few days. Let me tell you the truth. And that's what we want. We want every farmer, no matter where you're coming from, no matter the color, no matter the tribe, let's do this BSF. These ways that has been affecting us for too long, we need to bring it to a way to affect us positively. It's been affecting us negatively, but this time round, it's going to affect us positively. No more negative uh, being affected negatively. So that's it. And uh, so what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to label them. We see the, the one with the rice husk uh, and the goat poop. This is the goat poop and uh, some little bit of, uh, of yeast. So in a few days, we see how it's going to be. So once again, we say thank you again. Thank you so much from Project Master. We are so grateful. We are humble again for even you getting your time to listen to us and just learning from us. Our prayer and our desire is may you continue to spread this gospel of BSF. And about the gospel of BSF, let's spread the, the gospel of, of Jesus, of our God, our maker. He's our everything. Without him, if he shuts our oxygen, we are done. I cannot be doing BSF. So first and foremost, above everything is God. So put God first in everything, and he'll put you first before everyone. So we say thank you again, and much love and lots of love from BSF, Protein Master BSF Nairobi. We love you. Please, again, we always say continue to subscribe to our channel, continue to share. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And let's go viral. Let's go worldwide. And uh, it's going to be better. As I told you earlier, we need to make a corporate uh, industry and collect BSF from every people, from every country, and do different kind of animal feeds, different kind of human food. This is protein. We love you. The Lord bless you. And shalom.